I'm inside a pickup truck and from the looks of it, it looks like I'm inside a truck. Uh, but the interior is quite nice actually. I have a leather steering wheel. There's a little bit of wood uh, texture, you know, in the interior. I don't think it's real wood, of course. Uh, it's a bit dirty, but uh, if you look at the seats at the back, uh, you have a lot of space. You have so much of head space, so much of leg space. It's insane. The seats are also nice. There's a little bit of leather here, uh, some on the armrest as well. But of course, the real thing about a truck is, of course, the exterior. So to get down, I have to use this handle and, you know, climb down and finally reach the ground. So this is a very, very massive truck. Uh, this is the engine. There are two engines available. You can have a 6 liter engine or a uh, 7.6 liter V8. So yes, this is a massive truck and it is huge. Uh, and uh, there's a very very strange thing about this truck you don't really need to use uh, a commercial license for this you can use a regular license for it as well now it has the option of you know having a uh, tiltable bed i don't know why you would need that but uh, if you compare it with the other cars here uh, like uh, you know the, these is eclipses and all the other cars this thing is massive and you can see it from miles away but what exactly is this and why is it so big? So this is actually uh, an in basically the name is a very strange name for the, of the company. But this is an American company and uh, what they do is they actually make commercial trucks. However, this particular model does not classify as a commercial truck. And the name of the company is actually quite funny. It is international. I mean, of course, it's an American company and they thought they could make something that, you know, the world would like. And, the only word they could think of uh, for naming this truck was international. So this is the CXT model. It's uh, humongous. As you can see, there are six uh, wheels in total. Uh, you can lift it, the bed all the way. Like if you have groceries, you can you know just have them dumped to your feet instead of having to climb up and get them. So that's an you know that's an amazing option. Uh, it's uh, 22 feet long, nine feet high. It's extremely big. Now, the classification of a commercial vehicle or a domestic vehicle actually does not depend on size, it depends on weight. And this thing is exactly two pounds or you can say a little less than one kilo within the limit of a, a passenger car. So that's why you don't need a commercial license for this truck, which is crazy. I mean, I mean, it is insane, but would you own it? I mean, I would, I mean, seriously, just as a fun vehicle, you know, just for events and all these type of things, not as a daily driver, but yes, I would love to own a crazy ass pickup truck like this. It is insane. It looks amazing as well. I mean, it's not only big, it looks amazing. I love all that chrome. I love all the big wheels. I love how the old school style. I mean, even the locks of the engine cover are massive. So I'm here at the car show. There are many, many amazing cars here. JDM, some muscle cars, some classics as well. And a very strange looking uh, cars as well, like this uh, this blue pickup truck just next to it. Uh, look at how, how it has a <laughs> covered wheels. It has a spoiler wing at the back. It's so crazy. So let me know in the comments what you think about this uh, this truck. And uh, in fact, I've seen a bigger one which had six doors. It was like an extended limousine of this truck. Do check out that video as well. I'll leave all the links and uh, you know of. Uh, international trucks and Ford F650 super trucks in the video description so do check them out as well you're going to enjoy them and as for other videos just have a look at my channel I'm sure you're going to like those as well